Tom, let's start with you. What more do we know about this missile and its whereabouts? At this point. Well, you're very correct. You're very correct, uh, Becky. We do not know from U.S. military intelligence specifically where it is. We know that we're talking about the east coast of North Korea, so somewhere along about a 250-mile stretch, as we'd call it here. That's where it is. We think military intelligence may know where it is, but we don't know at this moment. We have a pretty good idea, though, of what kind of missile we're talking about. Let me put away the map here and bring in a model, because this is a very simple, stripped-down type of missile. We believe that it's called the Musadon, and it was originally a Soviet sub-missile. You can see how this profile would fit a submarine launch. There's also a variation of this that is used in Iran called the Shahab missile. These come in many different sizes. This is not at all life-size. Let me read in some stats and put away the model and we'll talk about that some. This can stretch out from around 40 to 60 feet in length, so very different sizes. It can weigh, carry a payload of up to about two and a half tons. That's important because the payload in a missile like this is the explosive, the bomb. Could it be nuclear? Yes, it could be nuclear, but the truth is there's not much sense in the, the North Koreans trying a nuclear payload for a lot of reasons, including the fact their nuclear program is so young it would probably be less reliable. But it could be HE, high explosive. A high explosive payload, Becky, on a missile of this size could actually pack quite a huge wallop if it went to its target. Becky? All right, Tom, uh, briefly, uh, the question may not be just simply what it can do, but also how far it can go. Uh, some pretty sort of... Uh, uh, it, I don't know, let's call it a fairly evasive message from the States today, but some pretty uh, emphatic uh, comment from David Cameron out of the UK. What's your sense? Well, I, I think the simple truth is if you're talking about this kind of missile, we do have a pretty good idea of how far it would go. I'll bring in a map here and show you. The simple truth is if you took the range of this, it can be a one- or two-stage missile, by the way. If it's a two-stage missile, those are inherently harder to make perform properly. But nonetheless, if it were at the outer range of its performance for this type, you're talking about some 2,500 miles out here, so you would not reach targets like Hawaii or Alaska or California, but you would reach, for example, Guam, where the United States has huge assets in terms of a bomber base. You would reach places like Japan. You could certainly reach all of South Korea. That's part of the concern. And Becky, very frankly, one of the real concerns here is if one of these things get launched, amid all this talk of a test, Nobody's going to know if it's a test or if it's the real deal when it takes off. And these missiles, by the way, do not have a guidance system. Once they're fired, they're simply pointed, calculated, and shot. They don't adjust in flight. If they're flying toward a target, they have to be treated as if they are attacking that target. All right, Tom, thank you for that.